can break your pentatonics up into five fingerings. That's what most people do. The guy that taught me how to play used two of those fingerings and then he expanded them. And it was like real easy to learn. And when you expand them, like he showed me, I can play all of the notes for the pentatonic using my first and third fingers only. So if you're looking for speed or mobility, play using the roadmap that I've got in the in, in my classroom is really effective. Just like in our cage system for chords, there's five chord shapes. Three of them can be really difficult to make once you leave this open position. Two of them are really simple by comparison. And those are our bar chords, the E form and the A form. So when I was learning guitar, I've got a, uh, in the quick start guide of the channel, I've got a section that says everything you need to know on two pieces of paper. And it's true. Everything you see me playing, embarrassingly so, I can put it on two pieces of paper. Now what I'm doing with it, you know, is, is a, an accumulation of 40 years. But if you can break stuff down to where it becomes simple to understand, then you can look at technique. And blues and blues rock, it's a very simple art form and it should be about feel. Because if you don't feel it, nobody's gonna feel it. And if you think about John Lee Hooker, going on there but you can feel that pulse and it's infectious and so if you can grab music find that pulse and deliver that you've really got something you don't have to complicate it one thing that I see students do that are learning they try to bite off the whole thing and we have to program our muscle memory. I don't care if you just started playing, if you've been playing, you know, a few years, if you've been playing on and off your whole life, but have never gotten over certain hurdles, you have to be willing to chunk things down. Most of my time is put into practice. So I have something to play. But most people want to kind of play and practice and practice what they're playing and play what they should be practicing and they put it all together. And, uh, and there's just certain elements that just don't have the opportunity to grow. Then, depending on where you are with lead, some people aren't really able to play lead solos yet, but they know their pentatonics. So if you put the rhythm track on, which I will do here real quick,
you can take that as far as you're capable of taking it over a period of time. I just took that just like a time warp and went from where you could to like all in, you know, what, two minutes? You know how you can turn your pentatonics from days worth of work or maybe weeks worth of work. And if it's really new, maybe months worth of work to where you're playing this, you know, and you can start playing solos that really sound good if you'll keep them simple and just drench them with feel.